Where do we start? Look at this kitchen. Is it We're a nice in one? the Hampton Roadshow yeah. kitchen with Chef Robert Saliza from City Dock Restaurant inside Norfolk's Sheraton Waterside Hotel. We're making lasagna today. Yes. yes. Homemade lasagna. Homemade. There's, and, a, there's a commercial way to do it, you yeah. know, where you can just go ahead and, and do your hamburger loose and then make layers. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I knew how to do it. Yes. Uh -huh. But you're going to, of course, show us a different way. We're going to show you the traditional way where you actually make the meatballs and then slice them and put them in. Then, of course, you can add whatever you want. You can add hard-boiled eggs. You can add sausage and build your layers that way and give it a variety of meat that's inside. So it's not traditional layer of just ground beef, mm -mm. ricotta cheese, ground beef. You know, we, we put more to it. Something much more. What are the ingredients that we're looking okay, at Okay, the right ingredients here? are going to be the eggs, Parmesan cheese, the Italian breadcrumb, fresh ground garlic, parsley, salt and pepper. And then what we do is we take bread and we soak it in milk and we put it inside the hamburger. In the hamburger? In the hamburger. It'll, of course, as it's cooking, it'll disappear. Right. And it keeps your meatballs nice and moist so they don't turn into golf balls for your country clubs. <laughs> right. You know, so it just works that. out real well. Yes. And I know this is... A recipe from your family. Yes, it I is. I know it has to be. <laughs> yes, it is. It uh, came all the way from As a my, matter of fact. <laughs> my grandmother, uh, she went ahead and uh, let me use this, and I'm sure she's watching right now so I don't make a mistake. <laughs> She'd probably roll over if I did. But what I'm doing now is I put the eggs in, try to get the wet ingredients mixed into the into the hamburg. What I'm using is basically almost four and a half pounds of hamburg. Okay. And that should be enough. And what's good about when you make a lasagna is when you have meatballs left over, then you've got spaghetti meatballs. You can do so many things with this. Pretty versatile. As far as the ground beef, what kind are you using? What kind of fat it's content? It's 80% to 20%. Okay. It's a regular standard that you'd get in, in any of your stores. But when you go into the store and you buy ground beef, it's always a nice thing to push that little buzzer and give it back to the, the meat person. Tell them, please regrind it. Really? And they'll do it for you. You can do that. They will do it for you, absolutely. So it's nice and fresh because okay. it sits a while, you know, and it starts... Well, all the preservatives that are in will start coming up. So if you grind it again, it's nice and fresh for you. It's nice, you know. Nice tip there, Chef Robert. Nice. Okay, fresh. so you've ground in your, um, Egg. your eggs and the parsley. Parsley. Okay, then I'm going to put in just a little bit of the Italian breadcrumbs. I've got to make sure my sleeves are rolled up because Carrie yells at me all the time. Oh, here, I'll help you out I got, here. I got you got it? it? Yep, okay, just, this one right here? Okay. <laughs> She's not even paying attention. Yep. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay. Now, the garlic, of course... Uh, it's Halloween, so you can put a lot more garlic if you want. I mean, wow. That but is a lot of garlic. It is, but you'll taste the flavor after. Mm -hmm. And I try to put everything in except the bread at the last minute because that, that'll tell me how moist it is. So all the other dry ingredients first, everything and then the goes bread in, comes in. Then you mind. go from there. And also I have a, just a little bit of water just to make sure that it's, together, it's blending together. Now, when you make a meatball, uh -huh. you want to be able to put your hand in it. Nothing sticks to your hand. Oh, okay. So that you're... you're you're obviously, you know, doing some hard work here, but yeah, you're waiting it for in, it to getting it all so mixed when I put my hands in it, it comes out almost clean. Ah, That's okay. when you know it's almost where you want it. Okay. And this one here, when you put it in the frying pan and all, it uh, now you could of course bake them in the oven if you'd like. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a quantity of them like we do at the hotel, sometimes we'll do five or six hundred of them. So I'm not going to sit there for hours yeah. frying. So we'll just put them all in the oven and make it nice. But this one you're going to do special and fry and then yeah. so do you the can layers. Actually, I want you to be able to do this at home. Okay. Oh, wow. So you just dunked it into the... And this it. is... Regular milk. Just regular, like 100% milk. Homogenized milk. You can use skim milk Excuse if me. you like. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when we put the lasagna together, you'll see how I use ricotta cheese. A lot of people uh, will decide to have a little bit lighter. They'll use cottage cheese. Okay. Not. No? I, <laughs> okay. So you're saying no. No on that. <laughs> That's well, fair. You know, it's just like when you cook with butter. You can cook with margarine. You can cook with, I think it's butter or whatever. Right. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> but you're not a big fan of that. <laughs> you're, cutting, that. you're cutting down all the flavors. I mean, you got to go out and enjoy yourself once in a while. Right. I mean, so, I get it. You're kind of like, if you're going to make lasagna, make lasagna. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. So you're going to make these into meatballs. We're uh -huh. unfortunately running out of time, but okay. uh, make the meatballs, and then you're going to drop them into the oil. Is that right? Into the oil. And what kind of oil do you have here? Olive oil, of course. Olive oil. Of course. Those of are big course. meatballs. And then you're going to well, slice them I'm going to slice them, yeah. Okay, this isn't so. the traditional one that you'd eat by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you could if you're really hungry. If you are. So we're going to finish this up. Uh, have you finish it up, and then uh, we'll show you the process of actually making, making lasagna, lasagna. Yes. lasagna coming up in the next segment. And later on, we're going to have to talk about these sweet treats. Okay, great. We'll do that later. Okay. Guys. We're back in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen making lasagna yes. with Chef Robert Sliza 
from City Dock Restaurant, and I've got a job here. Yes, you do. We've got the meatballs here cooking in olive oil, and mm -hmm. I am not doing good because they can't break apart, right? There you go. Okay. Yeah, when you um, touch them, they look like they're going to fall, then let then them sit. Let them sit for a little mm -hmm. while. We've got some buzzers asking questions of you and your expertise, Chef Robert. Um, Pat from Chesapeake wants to know if we can substitute. We've got ground beef here, 80-20, mm -hmm. um, but can you use chicken, um, you turkey? You can use chicken, turkey. Uh, you can use veal, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you like. Uh, but as I said, this is the traditional one. Some people will make their meatballs and they'll put pork, they'll put veal, they'll put everything into it. Right. And get a variety. Uh, I guess you can do that if you're crazy, so, but you know. So, you're, so if I were to ask you, would you do that? No, I wouldn't. Okay. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> but it can be done. <laughs> it so. can be done. Sure, it can be done. <laughs> what I'm doing now is I've got the pasta sheets where you can buy anywhere in any in your freezer department. The pasta is already cooked. You know, one time oh, I met, okay. at one of the other hotels I was working at, we had a big party, and they wanted to do lasagna for 300 people. So I made one, let everybody see how to make it, and then I went home, let the night crew do it. Came back in the morning, and you know when you go by the dumpster, you see all the trash from the night before? Yeah. I saw the boxes and everything, but I didn't see this paper. Uh-huh. And it questioned me, you know? Um. So I went back inside, and I said, hey, guys, where's the paper at? And he said, it's in there. Oh, I said, no. it's in there. Oh, no. said, Isn't that sugar paper? Doesn't it dissolve? Yeah, no, it doesn't. So I had to get a magician to help me and how you take the kitchen table off. <laughs> we got it out, but I'll tell you, it was one heck of a day. Did, but, but you that, did please, not. Yes, but please take the paper. Don't put that in. That's not sugar paper. Okay, okay? note to self. Note to self. So what you've done is you've uh, sliced up the ones that are finished. Uh huh. And we're putting and them in. We're going to layer it. Did you fully cook them? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you best to make them overnight and let them sit so this way here they're hard and they're easy to cut where they won't fall apart and you then, mean make the meatballs overnight and then refrigerate them refrigerate them okay. and then cut them the next day oh, okay and that's what i'm saying about the traditional way of doing it or the way that you could do it commercial where they just layer the hamburg and make layers which is equally good but mm -h. this is better right no i, I mean i think <laughs> probably once you taste it you realize why well, you put all the effort into it right absolutely because you're actually you're getting a hearty meal and you've got other alternatives with uh, the meatballs that are left over. And oh, once right. you've got it layered, go ahead and put your Parmesan cheese. Okay. You can put as much as you like. Did you mention what's on the bottom? I'm sorry. I, I yeah, I sauced the pan, okay. then I put a layer of pasta down. And what kind of, just regular tomato sauce? Any seasonings? Well, the sauce that I make there takes six hours, and that's a whole complete another show, but you can <laughs> see it over there. Okay. It takes six oh, hours Oh, it's over to here, make. right yes. here. So let it's me lift up go. this here, Antonio. Mm -hmm. um, it's got basil in it. It's got... Uh, Salt, pepper, okay. olive oil, butter, onions, garlic. Okay, so this is another show. But a whole another show. You've got sauce on the bottom. Sauce on the bottom to start. You want to go ahead and just layer just a little bit of sauce there. Oh the yeah, label. absolutely. And so that's what you're talking about. Layers now just, that you have uh -huh. the cheese. Just put a little on. So what kind of cheese moist. is that? Shredded mozzarella. Okay. Um, and then now here's your special sauce. For mm -hmm. those at home who you know haven't gotten the lesson yet on this sauce, what what do you recommend? Um, patience. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of it. That's good. Plenty of patience. That's it. Yep. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put another layer minus the paper. People might say you're picky. You know that? <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's the way it has to be done. You can if you want it more chewier, I guess. Yeah, but, I guess. And then you start See, to process add a again, starting all over. So we're, we're going to do this same layer on the second row like we did second on the first. Row. And Unfortunately, then, running out of time, we're going to okay. put it in the oven, right? Yes, we are. And we're going to cook it at 300 for about 45 to 50 minutes. All right. Sounds good. We're going okay. to come back, finish this all up, and then again, we are going to talk about these sweet treats. Good. Chef, thanks. Okay. a great day in the Hinton Road Show Kitchen. We've got some great lasagna here, homemade lasagna from Chef Robert Saluza, yes. City Dock Restaurant. And it expanded. After Something's it. with the oven. I don't know. It went in this way and it came out that side. So we've <laughs> got to keep could. that oven. I, yeah, I know. I wish I could have that at my house. I want to uh, let folks know this is what it looks like before it goes in the before oven. Before it goes in the oven. Two layers. Two layers, and you top it off with aluminum foil that is sprayed with Pam. 300 for about 45 minutes right. to 50 minutes. Now, where did the ricotta cheese go? Right in the middle on the second layer. That oh, I put okay. In. All right. Uh -huh. So after the second layer, then you put more sauce and then more cheese. More cheese. In the oven. In the oven. Here's what and it looks this like. this is what it looks like when it comes out. So that leads me to bring in Josh Ha, Joshua Ha, the food and beverage director over at City Duck, and also a sommelier. Yeah. Yes. What would you pair this with? Uh, Chianti was my first thought. Ah. So, right, traditional Italian dish. Yeah. Let's go with a great Italian red wine. Um, I've picked three Chiantis today, the Da Vinci Chianti, 
uh, the Molini Chianti and the Gabbiano Chianti Classico. Mm. Uh, and sort of the way I describe Chianti is you have to understand the region it comes from. Um, do you know the uh, the knee-high boots that Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman? Yeah, yeah of course. Right, pretty course. common. Yeah. So if you think about that, think about up near the knee on the front. That's the region of Tuscany in Italy. Oh, okay, all right. If you look at yeah. the map of Italy and yeah. you compare it to the boot, and yeah. it's right up there on that side. Uh, and within Tuscany is the region of Chianti. Oh, okay, all okay. right. Okay. Good visualization. I like yeah, that. And all that's right. where these two bottles come from. Mm -hmm. And then Chianti Classico is actually a sub region within Chianti, which is even more specific to the growing region within the Chianti region. Ah. So, hence Chianti Classico. Okay, very, very nice. So, these wines are widely available in the marketplace. And, uh, I just think with the, uh, the bright um, berry flavors they have, raspberry, plums, uh, strawberries, um, that they just go so well with lasagna. Very mm -hmm. nice. Well, thank you for those suggestions. Sure. Really good ones. In the meantime, I want to talk about these sweet treats that you brought here into the studio. First of all, why did you do that? Well, our friends <laughs> at Plaza Bank, down here. we do a lot of business with them. They brought this down for us to, to use for the holidays. It was a nice thing. And it, to show their talents, I mean, they're great. Uh, Mr. Freeman... When I called him, I said, well, thanks for this. I said, but, you know, it would have been nice for Thanksgiving. He said, Chef, they got one turkey, you. They don't need another turkey. <laughs> so that's, that's what he told me. I couldn't believe he said that. How could but somebody But this, this is what yeah. they said, and this is really nice. This is their talents, and they're great. It they're looks great. wonderful. Yes. Really the good lasagna now, mm -hmm. this may look like a lot, but it's really not, because if, say, you have a party and then the people don't show up, now what am I going to do with it? Put it in the refrigerator. Right. Let it harden. Mm -hmm. Then you can go ahead and cut it. Wrap it in, in uh, foil, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take it out as you need it. Now, when you put it in the microwave, slice the top and then go down about maybe a half an inch. Right. The microwave will heat from the inside out, and then the mozzarella cheese that's inside will close the slice that you put in there. And you'll never know that it was reheated. Very nice. So you're saying that it is okay to uh, reheat it for another day, Absolutely, save it for another sure. day, it tastes just as good? It'll stay 30 days in the freezer if you cut pieces and you want to have it every night. You know. I would be surprised if it would last 30 days, just, you know, just saying. No, okay. don't do that with the wine. Yeah. You're going to have to finish the wine that day. <laughs> another excuse to get rid of the wine. Just got to finish it. Once it's open, it's got to be finished. Right. I think we'll, we'll yeah. find somebody to, to do so. All right, well, we're going to help you slice it up if we can, yes, Chef uh -huh. Robert, and uh, maybe it. divvy up some because we definitely want to try it before the end of the show. Yes. Thank you guys for sure. coming on and sharing your recipe and uh, your wine selections with us.